Hi everyone, um, just a quick update. I've worked out uh, what went wrong and it was me. Uh, so this is after a lot of questions and uh, I've even bought the plans for the aircraft on CD from the LAA, one of about five sets of plans that they have scanned in and put onto a CD, which actually, I think they are a, I mean, this says issue two, I think they are a, um, they are actually in better shape than these plans there, um, much clearer. Um, but uh, as it turns out, and that, that's a good thing, because I think there's quite a lot of the detail that I think um, that, that, that I can pick up now that uh, that wasn't on these plans. But um, that does not excuse the fact that I've um, messed up uh, this number, uh, 532.5 mil to the bottom, uh, this is the chord line of the, uh, this is a lot clearer on screen, but this is the chord line of the uh, the rib, we know that. And it corresponds as far as I understand it with, with that point there, and that is that point there, fine. 532 uh, and a half millimeters from that point to that point. Uh, Right, so when I measured this, I don't know if you can see, that was where I thought that point was. So if we uh, make a very quick measurement, uh, we get uh, not 532 uh, to that point, we get 500 and 48 and a half, uh, 532 and a half millimeters, sadly, is to the top of this piece of material, not the bottom. Uh, so, what does this mean? This means that, this means that all of that piece of material there is uh, out at this end by that much so this is a little bit too long and this is a little bit too long and this is and diminishingly this is a little bit too long and this and this and this uh, to the end okay because this measurement here is correct now um, if the error was much larger I could cut these and move it it isn't uh, I don't believe there's any way of unepoxying epoxy and even if I did, I'm not sure I'd be very happy about trying to re-epoxy onto something that had been treated in such a way. So, uh, essentially this is all scrap. I can't see a way of uh, modifying this uh, or recovering it, uh, as is the other half, which is over here. So it's all, it's all, um, it's all scrap, it's gotta go. Uh, which is obviously pretty depressing. Um, but uh, what's good? What's good is um, I've been becoming increasingly upset by the fact that I couldn't make the plans and what I've made stack up. Uh, so uh, that was pretty depressing. And so now at least I know I can redraw this uh, on the table and everything should work. I can also check uh, when I've redrawn it uh, that everything fits. I would strongly advise anyone who is doing anything like this uh, when you uh, now in hindsight um, when you do loft up your plans close the loop. So if I had lofted this up to the front back put the rib in position uh, before I started gluing things together. In other words, if I'd created a continuous and complete fuselage side, ensuring that everything worked before I'd glued that back in together, then this we wouldn't be in this place. Uh, so there we go, learn from that. Um, I was incredibly careful about lofting this up. So I guess the other lesson learned is um, no matter how careful you are, you will still make mistakes and you just have to accept that. Um, 
I am quite pleased with myself in the sense that I would not accept that uh, that I could work around this. I I I felt that um, I knew in my heart I'd got something wrong, <laughs> or there was something wrong. Uh, so um, uh, I'm glad in a way that I stuck to my guns and I didn't try and force reality to match my my hopes. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's probably good. Uh, more upsides. Um, this will force me to order some more materials, which is not something that I've done much uh, of. The last time I did it was ages ago. Uh, I'll have to order some new 15 by 15, um, 8 by 15. Uh, so this will this will force me to do that. Um, at the same time, I will probably order up the um, the materials for the wing spar, which was a thing that I'd kind of been putting off. And I will order some new ply to make these um, to make these gussets out of new gussets. So those are upsides um, to this. Uh, another upside: I hadn't spent too long. This isn't. This doesn't represent a huge amount of work, but it does re represent quite a lot of time because the amount of time that I have to actually do things is limited. So I guess it feels like a huge gulf of time. It won't take as long for me to. So all of the um, all of these kind of blocks uh, along the top, and for the for the dropping um, pieces like this. I think all of those can stay where they are essentially. So um, it's only it's only this bottom part of the frame that needs to move, and it only needs to move at the back here. It barely needs to move at all. So I think a lot of the um, setup that I've done will still be useful. Almost all of it. I'll just have to move. I'll have to do a bit more drawing, and I'll have to just move these blocks to fit. So um, I think the recovery from this situation will be quite swift notwithstanding the order time i have to get my head around speaking to the the chap that sells the wood um working out how best to get the cutting plan together and then get things cut which is really really sad because this was all just ready for me to use and now it's just well i can probably reuse parts of it uh, but the assembly itself is just not is, is, is scrap but don't underestimate how much of a difference it makes to me to actually to realise this and to understand that, you know, that the, the plans aren't completely, <clears throat> you know, all my interpretation of them um, is not completely, uh, completely askew. I just made a silly mistake and that's why things don't stack up. Um, okay, uh, so that's that. Um, I've got a bit more footage of um, making up some little clamps for the uh, steaming of the piece when I finally get back to doing the curved bit. Uh, I'll, I'll append this to uh, to the end of this video. Um, and uh, yes, uh, here's hoping that um, that uh, the uh, unfortunate war that we are currently living through is brought to the speediest possible conclusion for the ordinary people of uh, Ukraine and the ordinary people of Russia. Um, oh God. Wow, didn't want to do that. Uh, n n neither, neither of hu whom um, I believe really share the aspiration of the Russian leader at this time. Uh, so hopefully one day they'll have the time and the resources and the peace to f their own home-built aeroplanes at their leisure. Okay, thanks. And uh, yeah, a bit of footage now, slightly more positive about what I'm going to do when I've got all this unpicked and sorted out. Oh, God. And uh, more and on switch yes. Uh welcome. Uh I think it's the fourth of February. I always forget to look at my phone before I start recording the video, so there we are. I'll try and put something in a caption to tell you if I was right. Um uh tonight I am going to be trying to make something like this. Um this is uh my idea for a way to lock um 
the steam vent piece of wood um, into position once I've got it steamed and, in, and ready to go. So the idea will be that I will have, um, let's say, a, a block of some form here um, that follows the outside of the kerb. And uh, this in position, I've drawn that all wrong, but the idea is that this is going to have an off center. Um, no, I haven't done it quite, not that badly actually. So it's going to have an off center uh, point of rotation. So you push this lever and it, it's eccentric, so as it rotates, it will close up against here and um, uh, lock the piece in position um, while it cools down and dries. Um, and I'm just getting a phone call from my brother, so I'll just take that and stop this for a second. Right, okay, after that short short interlude. Um, yeah, so um, I probably should have grabbed an example bit of material just to illustrate what I'm doing. Uh, if I can find a bit, which I probably can't. No, here we go. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's... So, if we, look, if we look at it like that, in a way, that's the idea. So, um... Yeah, as 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 this rotates, that will get closer to that, and it will just clamp it into place. Really simple, just a cam. You call it like a cam lock or something. Um, so I'm going to make it out of this piece of wood. It's just some old, um, some old like really gash ply stuff. But so I'm I'm going to use. Um, so yeah, how do you cut out a circle? So I've got a uh, hole saw like this, so I'm probably going to use that. Um, stupidly, I've drawn around the outside, so obviously the diameter of the thing that emerges will be a bit smaller. Um, the only slightly tricky thing with those is, and oh no, I've lost that now, oh, here it is. Um, so I'm just, the bench is such a mess, I'm trying to very carefully manage what is seen by everyone out there. So yeah, so this, what I don't want is that um, <coughs> it has this pilot drill. Um, so this thing screws onto there. Um, it's got this pilot drill, which I don't really want a hole right in the middle of it this big because um, uh, I want to drill a hole that is slightly offset uh, to act, to give it the sort of cam action and um, and uh, that I think a big hole in the middle is going to make that a bit difficult. So uh, I think for the purposes of this. Um, where I'm not worried about, too worried about being hugely accurate, I'll probably just take this out and use the thing, you know, try to start it off gently, get a bit of a sort of trough going, and then that should be stable then, and I can run it all the way in. So, uh, yep, yeah, let's see if I can do that. I'll just, um, I think, to get this out, I need to loosen that screw, and that will pop out, and I just need to not lose that. Which is only too easy in this workshop. So, all right, I'll have a go at that now. Okay, so I thought that was going to be difficult, but it wasn't. Um, I just unscrewed it and it popped out. It's an interesting drill. Sorry, sorry, focus, focus. Uh, interesting drill. Um, kind of got these little flutes, flutes, flats machined in it. Um, curiously enough, I suppose to give the little screw a nice flat surface to bear against. I mean, it's you know it's not a drill bit that's going to be uh, under. Is it? I cut myself. No, it's ink. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's not a drill that's going to be under a tremendous amount of load uh, often. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's that's out. I'll screw this into here. So you screw it in, screw it in, and then once you've screwed it in, you you spin this down and those two locking pins go into the holes in the back and uh, lock it in. It's quite a, quite a nicely machined piece of kit really. A little circle up on the back there to hold it all together. It's um, unusually well made I think. Right okay I'll just get on with that and then um, maybe try and get a little bit first of just the, the cutting process. Okay, a bit of sanding. I've made uh, a bunch of rather lovely little round things. I was just uh, 
occurred to me that this is probably um, these are probably one of the, some of the, the the most perfectly made things I think I've ever produced in my life, to be honest, in their simplicity. But there you go. Um, that's good. Um, uh, so yeah, so there we go. So I just need to. It's amazing that actually the um, the whole hole saws uh, did remove quite a lot of material, which they would do. So they're a bit smaller than my diagram, but that doesn't matter. In fact, that's probably good because they they would have been a little bit too too chunky, really. So I just need to come up with some uh, wooden pieces just to form a handle, which I'll mount on the top. Probably a couple of couple of screws in, and then drill a sort of off center hole, um, uh, just kind of on the opposite side from the just out from the uh, center on the opposite side from the lever so as you as you rotate it will do that uh, sort of like that and clamp hopefully the piece when we need to so there we are just get onto that now just cut a few little pieces up to make that and uh, bring you back in then so I've got my little circles and I've got my little levers and I'm gonna mount them on like that couple of screws Probably whack a bit of glue underneath, glue it down, bang my screws in, and then find find the right place to drill my hole for the the pivot so that it, it's uh, got the eccentricity that we're we're looking for. Um, so yeah, these are starting to feel a little bit over engineered to be honest, but um, there's no harm in having too much engineering. You can't have too much in engineering. Not enough engineering is the problem in the world, in my view. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so I've got my little lever and my little uh, cam and I've uh, mocked it all up together. So whack a couple of screws through into that and then I drilled an off-centre hole, put a screw through that. So if you can imagine this is the piece of material that we want to clamp into position. That's a fixed block that's going to be on the building board. If I pull that in, then we're nice and, it's hard to do this, nice and tight and then when I want to release it, there you go. So I think I'm going to call that a win. So yeah, so that's what I'll do. So I'll set up um, on the curve piece for steam bending part. I'll set up all once I've finally, finally bottomed out what the curve is supposed to be. I'll set up a bunch of these blocks. I've got six. I think six points probably will be enough to 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 find the right position. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll set up these blocks, I'll set up these cams, and then I can basically pull it out when I've steamed it, drop it in, and then whack those tight and leave it. I think that makes sense. I might have, as I said, over engineered it a bit, but you know, there's no harm in that. Um, on the conundrum over there that I'm sort of trying to not think about, um, the uh, I have had some photographs sent, which is really helpful uh, and uh, I've also emailed the LAA today about it to see if I can get some better a better view of the plans um, I really feel like the plans should be digitized to be honest and available as uh, as, as, as uh, digital files if you if you uh, have bought a set you know to give you the license um, <clears throat> maybe that's a bit optimistic maybe that's a retirement project for me in a, f a few decades time when when I've got enough time to do something like that. I had this idea as well that God, it'd be amazing if someone, possibly me, I suppose, um, went through the plans and drew the thing up in CAD and tried to stitch it all together in CAD to see how it all fitted together. It might make it a lot easier for future builders, but maybe there isn't a massive queue of people lining up to build turbulence, I don't know. Um, uh, it just looks like a fantastic plan to me um, and will be when she's finished. Anyway. I'll probably better stop there, uh, it's about, been about an hour's work, it's a stupid amount of time to do these simple things. Um, I'll throw the rest of these together, I'm going to have to spend a bit more time looking at the plans and a bit more time doing a little bit of research just to bottom, bottom out the issue I've got and then eventually we'll get something, um, get something together to do some steaming and, uh, and get that piece of the fuselage in place. All right. Uh, Okay, that's probably going to be the end of this video, but 
Um, and so I'll catch you in the next one, otherwise there might be a little bit more, but um, I think I'll probably get to the point where uh, it's time to go inside and uh, maybe try and relax just for a bit before another day tomorrow. Tomorrow I am going to go flying, uh, hopefully. A uh, bit of time in the um, motor glider, which will be great. I haven't flown for an awfully long time and frankly I haven't really wanted to go to the gliding club for a while so it'll be good to have a reason to go and uh, to have a reason to go and uh, go back through the gate and get back into it and see the people so yeah uh, okay um, see you in the next one or in a bit uh, if there is any more of this all right take care bye now Oh no, I've made a mistake and uh, I've screwed up my airplane and I have to remake everything. Oh, that's better. <laughs>